Well, good morning. morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Made it through another winter storm. The ice was pretty Friday morning going to work. I mentioned to Brother Wade that if we ever wondered what it felt like to be in a deep freeze, we could see then. But that ice sure was pretty. It's pretty dangerous now as it's falling off the roof. But uh, we're going to be looking in chapter 16 of our Sunday school book, The Knowledge of God, and we're going to be looking at how God is holy. And one of the things we're looking at about God being holy is Him being awesome. You know, and we got to see some awesome beauty this week, beauty that cannot be described. Paul Washer starts off saying the meaning of holy. The word holy comes from the Hebrew word. I can't pronounce that, but you can read it. And it means separated, marked, off, placed apart, withdrawn from common use. We were, with regard to God, the word has two important meanings. God is transcendent above his creation and God's and above his creation's corruption. We must understand that last part. We know that we are living in a sin-cursed world. All right? It is because of the fall of man, the world is in the shape it is in. It is dying. It's hurting. It's crying out for God. Everywhere we look, we see creation crying out to its creator. And if any of us who walk with God know that we cry out all the time, there's lots going on today. There's lots going on in our church today that we cry out to God. Why do we cry out to Him? It's because He is holy. 